Hey everybody, it's Hannah. And as you may have seen, we are camping again. And we thought you might like to see a tour of my camper. I know you would have seen the camper in previous videos, but we haven't done a tour for YouTube. That's right. So if you're also following our Facebook page, you would have seen some dedicated camper tours over there on Facebook. But I know a lot of you don't have Facebook. So we thought we'd do a little camper camper tour for you guys. So I'm standing here at the door and over here is my bed. This is a queen size bed. It is a regular queen size mattress, not a camper queen. Um, I bought a new mattress to go here um, because I have lots of upper back and shoulder pain. So it's important to me to have a super comfortable mattress. So the regular queen sizes are longer than camper queens so i have this cooler here that we just leave right there underneath and it uh props up the end of my mattress it's the perfect height on either side there are these little just benchy <laughs> areas there i just i like to set stuff on it like I'll my show. coat and some drinks and stuff yeah there's one on both sides and there's one of these on both sides as well. And I just kind of keep my stuff in here. I've got a little shelf back there. Some of Daryl's clothes. Just that some extra stuff. Up, yeah, that I can nice. hang up. Yeah, and so it's it's the same on either side. So I have this side and um, Marlo uses the other side to store some of her stuff. So that's, oh, there's this little shelf. You could store things there, but I just use it for um, decorations. All right, moving over this way, we've got the fridge. It is a small fridge, but it does its job. Um, I will open this for you, actually. Um, so it's a decent size. You can fit a decent bit in here. The only thing that's super small is this is the freezer area. Um, and we've got a couple of things in there, but it is pretty small. So you can't bring a lot of frozen stuff. Lots of counter space which is fantastic. It's one of the reasons that helped me pick out this camper. So this whole area, we always um, put the coffee maker here and then our little heater when it's cold. And if we're cooking inside with the electric skillet, we'll put it here as well. Sink, two burner stove, gas stove. Um, and it's not self lighting. So you do have to bring in a lighter um, to light it in here. Microwave, just a regular microwave, and it's small-ish, but it's it's plenty big enough. Like this morning, we put two bowls in there about this big, and um, that was just fun. This is our little pantry. Marlo organized that, isn't it so <laughs> cute? Um, it's fairly big. You can fit a lot of stuff in there, and I've got these little shelves um, in here, too to help with space that's, and organizing and everything. That's my favorite part of the Isn't whole camper. Cool. <laughs> um, we've got storage space down here. It's, so we've got drawers here. This drawer, little hot pads and things like that. This drawer, um, utensils. Mm -hmm. Down here, some under storage. It goes all the way through. It's a little messy right now. Um, but it stores a lot too. I've got several different shelves and things down here. I've got this shelf, um, so you can kind of slide things under it and over it. So we store a lot down here, pots and pans, cleaning supplies, baggies, um, paper plates and things, Tupperware. Oh, and I've got this sliding in and out drawer down here. Yes. So there's lots of space down here. All right. So over here. This is our convenience center. So you can check on the uh, black tank, the gray tank, the fresh water tank, and the battery and see how full or empty that is. Also, there's buttons to turn on the water pump and the water heater. And the camper came with all these hooks. All these hooks were attached to the wall um, when I got it. And so we obviously use those so much. I love them. Um, I mean, great space savers. Moving over here, this is Marlo's bed. 
And if you are on Facebook and you haven't seen the video of us setting that up with the new air mattress, go over and watch that. But this is Marlo's bed and it also is a table. It's a booth. Kitchenette. Yes. Right. Dinette. Dinette. It's a, it's, it's a booth dinette and, um, we usually leave the booth down when it's just Marlo and I because we don't really have to have a table. We don't mind eating on the beds and everything. So, um, when it's just Marlo and I camping, we usually leave it made down into the bed and we can't get to it right now, but there is storage underneath both sides of the bench plus room to put stuff underneath. That's where I store some of my stuff. Yeah for easy access. Yeah. So we've got this little heater um, that we use, this just small space heater. And it's usually more than enough to keep us warm in here when it's cold outside. But my camper does have heat. This is gas heat. I mostly don't use that because we need the gas to cook with and we don't have to have the gas heat. When it's cold, I mean, when it's hot, <laughs> there's my air conditioning. This is just an air conditioning. It has the router on here, but it is not a heater. It only does air conditioning and there's also a fan. Up here above Marlo's bed, just some storage space right here and storage on either side. This is where the reusable dishware goes and over here the coffee maker gets stowed in here when we're not camping and then i keep the cutting board uh bowls and things different appliances in there we've also got this which we love we don't use it a ton but we use it pretty much every trip it can be a radio um but you can also connect your phone via Bluetooth and listen to music through that. And if you had a TV connected up here, you can put DVDs in there and play DVDs oh, wow. from your TV. Yep. Also, this will do inside and outside speakers. Yes, absolutely. Separately. So, so you can have them playing inside and outside or just inside or just outside. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. All right. Behind me is the bathroom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So the bathroom is pretty spacious. It's what's referred to as a rear bath. So that's really nice. It has a shower and tub. We mostly just use this area for storage. We put the vacuum and the broom in there. We have yet to, neither one of us or anybody has yet to use the shower. To shower, for, that's yeah. correct, yes. Cause we prefer to, um, shower at the bathhouse because most of the time we're not connected to um sewer sewer so we don't want don't want to fill up yeah. our tanks yep sink tiny bit of storage down here um where we can put put stuff in there <laughs> medicine cabinet which i love oh wow plenty of room for even more things in there this is my personal favorite part it's just fantastic so first of all there's this little drawer we refer to this as the drawer <laughs> that's just kind of our drawer where we stick things that don't really have a place but we need to definitely keep and know where they and are. know where they are so like the scissors are in there we've got some miscellaneous screws and things in there um instructions instructions like for the tongue jack that's the drawer and then so much storage. I'm still sort of searching for just the right um, shelves to put in there so that I could utilize like the top half of the storage. But this is fantastic. I keep like, this is kind of like my linen closet area, towels and sheets and things like that. Miscellaneous. And then when the pooches come, which is most of the time, this is Daryl's food container and his bowl. Over here, I bought this little hanger thingy on Amazon. I'll make sure to leave a link below. And this is where I keep all my clothes. It's just fantastic to have this much storage back here. This is my favorite part. 
Also, of course, there is a toilet. Um, it's got, it's not a uh, foot flush, which I think I might prefer a foot flush, but this is fine. It's just got a little handle back there. Um, and then a tiny got a bathroom little, trash. Yeah, a tiny bathroom trash with oh. a foot pedal and a lid because I have a doggy that eats trash. Same. <laughs> yeah, so speaking of trash. Oh, yeah. Let me show you one more thing, which I'm sure you may have seen in previous videos, but maybe you haven't. This is our trash can. It's a collapsible trash can, and there's this little lip where you can fold the trash bag into there. We love it. It's fantastic. We can move it in. We can move it out. Another note. I just like to keep the dog's water bowl right there. It's just out of the way. We don't ever walk over there. We, we don't ever have a need storage, to. We yeah. use that for storage. So there's um, Daryl's toy basket. There's my dirty laundry basket and a TV, a TV which we have yet to see. So this was also here, the, the paper towel holder that was also in the camper when I bought it. It's fine. I would probably prefer it a little bit closer to like the sink and the stove, but it's fine. Yeah, I wish that it was yeah. there. Yeah, me too. But I like the hook. Okay. The hook yeah, is good. Me too. Okay. Um, then anyway, here's the button to bring the awning in or out. Mm -hmm. These here are outside lights, so we can actually turn that off. But these are both outside lights, and these are our indoor light switches. So it's got a, it's got a regular door. You can just open and close them together like this. Or if it's a nice day outside, which it is not today, and you want to let a cold breeze in, you can just close the screen. Isn't that crazy? Isn't it so nice? It's probably like my but, fourth or fifth camping trip that I discovered that. Yeah, and so let's say we're cooking outside and I'm handing things to Marlo to get set up. A lot I of times, open the window yeah. and hand through the mustard or something. So. so the camper does have a decent bit of under storage over on this side. It's a hole like yeah, through. Yeah, so where that is, yes. is where So it right be. under there, it goes all the way through. We store a ton of stuff out there that we don't need inside and that doesn't necessarily have to be weatherproof, although water doesn't get in there. So that's a tour of my camper. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, then I'll try to answer them and we'll see you soon.